storyteller, historian, hellraiser. It's Dave Carter, and this is the Dave Carter Show. All right. Lord help us, here we go. Hi, folks. Welcome to the proceedings here today. It's great to have you here. I am Dave Carter. We will not be passing around a collection plate anytime soon, I hope. But I want to try this new live gear out and see what you guys think about it. We're working kind of live and without a net here and see how it goes. Feel free to chime in on the comments, though, as of yet, I don't see where I can bring comments up. But if I can figure that out, I certainly will. But if you've got some comments, share them. And uh, unless your name is Spen Owsley. I mean, he's already promised to get some mischief uh, going here. Uh, he doesn't need an invitation to do that anyway. But uh, but I've got a soft spot in my heart for mischief makers as the kid who once upon a time put a, a whoopee cushion in the preacher's chair. So that'll be fun. Let's, let's talk for just a moment about the software and the equipment and tell you what's going on here. The software that I'm using to talk to you live right now, all the graphics and everything you see, is from Ecamm Live. It's a great program, and they are able to let you see uh, everything in live time. I'm also going to be using this in order to um, uh, do the video portions of the podcast. So that's all going to be brought to you by Ecamm Live, and then they do the graphics, and it's all kinds of fun. Now let's look at the actual equipment and take a tour of the fest of the place here and see the festivities. I'm going to pan in a little bit here using Ecamm Live. They're not paying me, but I wish they would. Anyway, so what you see here, the mixer is a Mackie Pro FX V uh, Pro FX8 V2 mixer and it's got an equalizer and all kinds of fun things in it. Uh, I've got different channels. This right here is the microphone that I'm on now, mic 1, mic 2 as a channel. There's a phone channel uh, that I can use for the phone interviews. iPad mini about which more into course is right there that goes to this channel here. And then the laptop itself or it's not a laptop it says that, but it goes to the brand new shiny iMac. And so that's a lot of fun. Now on the on the uh on the iPad Mini, about 247 years ago, when I was doing radio, you had carts that would be in the in the, in the uh, studio with you. you. Had slots, they're like eight track cartridges basically, and you would do the production work and record things on them, and then put them in the little slots, hit a button, and they play on the air. This is an app on the iPad Mini called Boss Jock. It does essentially the same thing, only it's all digital. There are 35 squares here, each of them uh, corresponding to a different sound effect or a song or an intro or a program ID. These are things that I've produced either uh, on, on the software, uh, GarageBand most likely, or Audacity, or ones that I've had uh, done for me. I've got a production company that does wonderful work. And so all that stuff is on here so that you can tap the, uh, the a square on the iPad, and off it goes, for example. Because some people just need a pat on the head with a hammer. Dave Carter on Ricochet. And then you do the songs and the different, uh, the, do this for the, for, the, for the spots that I do. I talk nice about Ricochet. Oh, and by the way, speaking of Ricochet, that's where you can go and have all kinds of fun. Uh, a lot of places are, are canceling. Uh, people that they don't like politically, well, Ricochet is not one of those places, and Ricochet is not likely to be canceled anytime soon. So there's the commercial for them because I don't like them so much. Now the microphone itself is a uh, by MXL. It is a BCD1 dynamic mic. I was using a uh, condenser mic, and that thing was so sensitive, so insanely sensitive that you could hear a flea fart. <clears throat> anyway, so. Uh, I'm doing this live, right? So I've got to be a little bit more circumspect in the language that I employ, I guess. Speaking of the remarks and the things that I've got going here, you may be asking what the purpose of this broadcast is, and there's some probably be some times when I might be asking about what it's about. It is not strictly, let's start with, by talking about what the program is not. It is not strictly a place for uh, political pontificating. It's not about uh, uh, taking the party platform 100% of the time for either party, and it's not about any obedience to any party or any person. What it is about is where we can discuss not only current events and issues, but also talk about a great many things that interest us, from entertainment to sports to comedy to all kinds of good stuff, interesting anecdotes from everyday life. So that's what we're going to do. And we've got uh, – here's some other things. Speaking of all the fun stuff that happens on here, I can go to this little deal here, and you'll see the, my, my, my uh, screen, my main my – monitors show up and with that i can go to videos and talk about that play different things for you so it's going to be a lot of fun and they, not only that but you can go back to the main screen and every now and then a little uh something might pop up about a, a website or if i'm over on twitter it'll give you my twitter handle and all that kind of stuff so um 
I've, I've, here on the live stream side, we'll keep it fast paced. We'll keep it light and hopefully entertaining and discuss a lot of different issues. Every, every now and then we may take a deep dive into some issues, uh, but the goal is to inform, uh, persuade occasionally, but not to demean. I've been asked because I've been writing and speaking on current events and issues for about 40 years now, why the fixation? And I'd like to explain it this way with your kind permission. And I'm talking a little bit about, about Charles Krauthammer, the late Charles Krauthammer. At one point, he was a speechwriter for Vice President Walter Mondale, and he went on to write a regular column for the Washington Post and various other publications, and he was a, a regular fixture on uh, Fox News and other programs as well. He was also a psychiatrist, but he left psychiatry. And here's what he wrote, and it, it kind of describes how things are for me. He said, I left psychiatry to start writing because I felt history happening outside the examining room door. That history was being shaped by a war of ideas, and I wanted to be in the arena, not for its own sake. I enjoy intellectual combat, but I don't live for it. I wanted to be in the arena because some things matter. Some things need to be said. Some things need to be defended indeed and i think that that very well ca encapsulates why some of us are driven to engage and defend very important precepts i oftentimes remark that we are allotted a finite number of heartbeats uh, and uh, it in fact was kind of brought home yesterday on my 59th birthday but it's what we do with those heartbeats that matters right and the extent to which we use those heartbeats employing the gifts with which we've been bestowed that matters a great deal and so I write, I learn, I speak, I try to the extent that I can to defend the foundational ideas and ideals that formed our country. I, I can't serve in uniform any longer. I'm a little old for that, but I continue to do what I can. And I invite you along for the journey. We'll laugh. We can debate as friends, always as friends and always in a civil fashion. We can also celebrate that which makes us different. Like, oh, I don't know, LSU fans versus Philistines. That's always a good debate. And it's a lot of fun. So let me know what you think about what you've seen here today. If you have any comments or questions or observations on the technical aspects of all this, Please let me know. I'm all ears. I want to learn. And uh, as we say back home, man, we're going to pass a good time, yeah. And laissez le bon temps rouler. So as we say back home, or anywhere else if we want to, we'll wrap this thing up. It's been fun. I've enjoyed it. And I do look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. All right? Later. Later.